All right, everybody. So we are in eclipse season. We are right now in the very strong energy of the full moon in Scorpio. And it is a lunar eclipse. Uh, about a couple of weeks ago, we had the Aries new moon, which was a solar eclipse. New moons are solar eclipses. Full moons are lunar eclipses. And this is very activating energy, this moon, um, these eclipse time periods. And this is connected to North Node and South Node energy. Now, a lot of you who watch my channel a lot, um, you know that one of the things I talk about quite a bit is North Node and South Node. And your North Node is your karmic mission and purpose on this planet. It's why you're here. It's the thing you're here to learn. It's brand new stuff to you. You may not know. It may feel really foreign because it is, right? It's new lessons. And the South Node is something that you bring with you, skills, talents, capabilities from past lives. So this is where our comfort zone comes from. It can feel really um, good to sort of sit in that. But at some part in at some point in your life, that south node is going to give you trouble. OK, and what happens when that when that happens is sort of like, oh, wow, it's like a jarring event. You're like, this is something I could always count on as being, you know, consistent in my life. And it's not being consistent anymore. So what happens is you're being pushed. The reason that that's happening is you're being pushed to go toward the North Node energy. And the North Node is, you know, getting you out of your comfort zone and getting you toward new capabilities, new ways of being in the world, uh, karmic path, clearing past energies, all of this kind of stuff is happening. And you have a particular North Node and South Node. Everybody has a North Node and South Node. They always move in retrograde. And we have a, a pair of them, right? So you might have a Aries Libra, you might have a Scorpio or a Taurus and Scorpio, you might have a Gemini Sagittarius. It looks like a little set of headphones in your birth chart. That's what the North Node looks like. Right now, the transit since June, June, since January of 2022 has been in the sign of Taurus, North Node in Taurus, South Node in Scorpio. So we as a collective, we as individuals even are being impacted by that. Even if I don't have North Node in Taurus, even if I don't have my South Node in Scorpio, I'm still being impacted by that. The energy of it still exists. And the new, it changes signs every 18 months or so. And so eclipses are the beginning, right? They're the, the closure to that last 18 month cycle, the starting, the closing of it. So eclipse season is happening right now. We're having that with um, Aries. We just had an Aries new moon. That's the sign that the North Node is moving into. We're having a Scorpio full moon right now, the lunar sign, the lunar energy. That's the South Node that we're in right now. That's closing up a chapter. And July 17th of this year, the North Node will move into Aries. The South Node will move into Libra. And that will change our focus from this Taurus Scorpio stuff where it's all about security and about our comfort zone. And also it's, I mean, that's the comfort zone, comfort zone one, right? Taurus is the comfort zone, comfort zone. <laughs> and uh, Scorpio is about, oh no, I take a lot of risks in order to feel safe, right? This is such an interesting set of uh, energies that we have been dealing with since January of 2022. And it is working on shifting into Aries and Libra, which is all about me as independent versus me and in relationship. So can I stand on my own two feet in relationship and not kind of dissolve into one? Or am I being pushed in a relationship I'm really comfortable with to assert some independence? That's the energies that are going to be coming in and they're starting to come in now. We're starting to close out of the Taurus North Node, Scorpio South Node energies. We're starting to close out of that and moving into the Aries and Libra. So if you don't know how this impacts your life, um, I teach a class that is a ongoing mentorship every other week. It's birth chart mastery, or I have a North Node class. It's uh, linked in the description box below and you can learn uh, what you're being asked to do here on this planet. And when we have these activation energies called eclipses, then you'll be able to understand how that works in your own life. So what I'm gonna do here today is I'm gonna pull some cards for each zodiac sign. And these are North Node signs. 
Okay, so it might be, well, it'd be your sun or your north node. But really what I'm looking at here is those of you who have north node in Aries, what's going on for you? All right, I'm going to do all 12. I'm going to go around. When I talk about Aries, I might talk about Libra also. When I talk about Taurus, I might talk about Scorpio because they're paired, right? They're paired. They're the, they're the opposite sides of the same coin. When I talk about Gemini, I might be talking also about Sagittarius and vice versa. Okay, so you get the idea. So we'll pull cards for each um, zodiac sign, for each north node sign. And I'll get some uh, information for you as to where things are going right now. All right. Uh, in about two weeks or a week and a half, I'm going to do full zodiac readings for each north node sign. Um, we'll do the full readings and extendeds and everything for that week after I get through the middle, the mid month readings. But for now, I just wanted to kind of read this for you today because we are in the eclipse energy right now as I'm doing this reading. And I think it's really important for us to understand how it's impacting each one of us. OK, so these are for. I'm going to start with Taurus because we are in the Taurus Scorpio North Node energy still. All right. So. Let's start with Taurus. We'll go all the way around and you'll hear how we talk about it. Okay. So you'll get a better idea. All right. So for Taurus, Taurus North Node or Taurus Sun, you can have these, both of these things going on for you. The Wood Nymph Beauty and the Star Energy. So healing, um, Taurus, you're really doing uh, some healing. You could be dealing with an Aquarian. I feel like the Wood Nymph is, has to do with either some issue around I've always used my beauty or I've always used my um, my persona, my face or my Taurian energy. I've always used that as something that will keep me safe. Right. It can have to do with money or how you value yourself. Um, I've always used my beauty or my uh, expression, my physical expression to keep me safe in life. And this is being healed right now. It's almost like you don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to worry if you are getting older and your beauty is fading like it does for all of us. You don't have to worry about that if you're doing your healing work, because if you're still holding on um, to a thing that's fading for you or a thing that isn't uh, really a full expression of you. So you might be very young and you're very beautiful, but you're full. Ex you're, there's more to you than that. There's more to you than this. OK, and so discovering that is a really healing place to be. And I feel like for all uh, Taurians, uh, this is one of the lessons in this last few months of Taurus North Node that you're going to really be experiencing, that it's much more about inner beauty. It's much more about how you express yourself or stepping into uh, being healed of something that has been a crutch or something that you relied on for a long time. This is really what's going to be going on for you. I love the star energy there, Aquarian energy. So you're really seeing a different side of you or you're going to be seeing a different side of you that is just as beautiful. That is just as beautiful. OK, that's Taurus. Um, Gemini for you. Anybody have Gemini North Node or Gemini Sun? Wow. All right. Foggy Bog Patience and the Hermit. Uh, if there's been a situation that has been unclear to you, look at him with his lantern. You figure it out. OK, so if you have a Gemini North Node or if you have a Gemini Sun sign, anything that has been murky these past 18 months is going to be clear and not only clear, but you'll be able to transmute the energies and, and work with them and not be triggered by them anymore. Um, we have a lot. Sometimes we can wonder if we're healed from something, something that has been uh, maybe blocking your uh, vision or something like that. We are healed from something when it no longer controls our life. OK, so that is the goal of a lot of 12 step programs, that it doesn't control your life. That's the goal of a lot of uh, work we might do around our our vices or our um, our habits, bad habits that need to go. Maybe you're dealing with someone who's a liar, someone who's confusing you, but you see it now and you work with it in your own self. You purge, let go of any kind of hurt feelings or you let go of your own need to be right or to be um, knowing everything. 
and you transmute that into wisdom for yourself. So it's not controlling your life anymore. You've learned the lesson. Okay, Gemini, I feel like you've learned the lesson and that's not going to be a thing anymore. All right, you're moving on from whatever that lesson was. Okay, Cancerians, I'm getting Bluebell, Fairy, Gratitude, and the Eight of Wands. Uh, Cancer, you could really uh, be in this space of needing to tell people you love them. Uh, it's a time for you to express your thankfulness, your gratitude to people. This is going to be a really important time to do that. Uh, this is part of your path and mission here. It's also about learning how to communicate from a from a higher vibrational place, not a low frequency or not something that's that is asking or receiving. This is almost about giving, giving of your time and of your energy. And the gratitude here is just being super grateful for whatever crosses your path. That's what's going to be showing up for you in the ending of with the Scorpio full moon as we move through June and July or into the uh, Aries North Node. Uh, there's really a closing up. And so there's a thankfulness for the things that have come before messages coming through. Maybe some of you are opening up to your spiritual gifts a lot more. And that's you're like, wow, this is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited to be open to my gifts. So there's a lot of gratitude coming from cancer. That's lovely. OK, so Leo um, Leo, what's going on for you? Owl spirit wisdom <laughs> and the king of swords. So owl spirit is that sense of being able to see in the dark. OK, because the owls are like the eagles of the night and owls move around quietly in the dark. And what's basically going on here is you're seeing something super clearly now. King of swords, even dispassionately. Um, like you've unhooked from something that has held you fast for a long time. There's, you're no longer, no longer being triggered by something, no longer being, because you've transmuted it into wisdom, very similar to Cancerians, right? And um, to Geminis, you've really transmuted something that has kept you in the dark into some clarity. And that's what's going on. You'll see that happening, unfolding over the next few months. Uh, it's a closing out of a cycle of when you might have felt in the dark. OK, so about whatever, even about yourself. OK, so that's for Leo. For Virgo, willow spirit, flexibility. Beautiful. Um, you got a lot of choices, Virgo. This is nice. Uh, you may have felt hemmed in or penned in a little bit with the North Node and Taurus energy. But when it moves into Aries, I just feel like you're setting yourself free. I mean, Virgo, there you've done some good work, some healing work on yourself. You're going towards something that you have always wanted to do or a part of your life that is really um, kind of uh, rich in um, expressiveness and details. Well, no, not details. Um, you are details, but it's not about the detail anymore necessarily. It's like you've taken care of all that. You've taken care of all the details. So now you can fully express yourself. There's a lot of choices that are coming up. You're going to have a lot of opportunities, a lot of options. So keep yourself open to it, right? Uh, he's standing there in the water, the two of wands, you know, really seeing uh, the volcano in the distance, <laughs> trip to Hawaii, I don't know. But um, uh, Virgo, you're just gonna have a lot, of, a lot of choices ahead of you. And, you know, I mean, it can really change your life because what you might've thought in the past was kind of a hard and fast rule. Like I have to either be in my corporate job or I have to have my own business. There might be some kind of hybrid here uh, for you. There might be some kind of hybrid around. You might have thought, oh, it's either marriage or nothing, marriage or single, but maybe there's something in the middle there. Like you are really saying, hey, I want to express myself creatively in this relationship. I might want to have my own house. I might want to travel on my own. There's something here about expressing your own unique individuality. OK, so that's for Virgo. That's for Virgo, uh, North Node <clears throat> and Sun. OK, so Libra, North Node in Libra. Or Sun in Libra. Wow, I got your card fired up, fired up. I mean, Libra, you are so good at staying balanced, steady state. I remember my biology teacher talking about that in high school, that everything in nature tries to get back to a steady state. And you are definitely the expression of that. Or in this life, this is something that you are seeking balance. 
And it's possible that you might be a very passionate person. And so you don't like that because it gets you out of balance. Um, but I'm tending to, I'm kind of actually believing it's the opposite. It's sort of like, I want to seek balance. I feel so all of it, all the time, creative and out of balance or expressing in such a way that is keeping me out of a relationship because it's not very diplomatic that I'm like, Wah! like I flamethrow people. Um, what you might be Libra as a North node, this is a new skill. So you may be having to learn about how to not curb your enthusiasm, curb your enthusiasm, but in a sense, be passionate in a balanced way or learn how to balance the passion so you can channel it, so you can use that energy. So that's for you, Libra, North Node and Sun. All right, so uh, let's see, Scorpio, North Node and Sun. Acceptance, wow, devil energy. Something that has held you fast, something that has put you in a box. The only way to get out of this and right now we have the South Node in Scorpio. And so South Node is about things that are needing to be released. Um, it is old stuff. If you are Scorpio North Node, it's like an acceptance will be the thing that help you release things. So what I mean by that is there's no good in struggling. What is that little thing that you put your fingers in each side and you the more you pull, the more you pull, the tighter it gets. It's like finally just okay, uncle, is going to help you more than struggling will. Okay, so you kind of have to admit where you are. And if it's not something that you are particularly proud of or particularly want to be there, the way through it is to say, yep, I accept it. Because that's the only way that you can move from it. Okay, struggling against the tide or against the truth isn't going to help. Okay, so that's Scorpio North Node and Sun. Sag. North Node and Sun, Rainbow Waterfall, Miracles. Oh, wow. Look at you. Seven of Pentacles. Something you have worked long and hard at is finally coming to fruition. So Sag, as a North Node, you have Gemini in your South Node. And basically, um, Sagittarius North Node is about um, uh, learning. Okay. It's about higher education. It's about learning new stuff. And I feel like for a long time, you might have been on your own or you might have been in a place where you felt like there were no miracles. I'm here to tell you that when when things when the North Node moves into Aries, there's going to be a miracle. And a lot of people call babies miracles. Some of you could actually be pregnant. This is about like, hey, we're seven months along here in this process. And two months from now, miracles are showing up. So Sagittarius, North Node and Sun just know that that's happening. OK, that's coming in and you have put in the time and effort. Good for you, Sag, North Node and Sun. All right. Capricorn, North Node and Sun. Wizard of the Woods. OK, I got two for you. Interesting. Wizard of the Woods, Page of Wands and Nine of Cups. Sorry about that. Page of Wands and Nine of Cups. So you have really learned to focus your manifestation and you are doing it. This is going to fly in the face of Capricorn because Capricorn energy feels like everything has to be hard. It's ruled by Saturn. And this is so easy. It's like you're manifesting effortless, effortlessly, Cap, effortlessly. So Cap, North Node and um, Sun, you are kind of going to be off balance a little bit because this feels too easy. There's something about what's happening in the next two months that feels a little too easy to you but you're going to need to embrace it anyway. This is what you want. It's like, why does it have to be hard? Capricorn, like let go of that because you have um, come to some kind of place in your life where it's all coming to fruition. I love it. I love that Capricorn, North Node and Sun. Um, Aquarius, North Node and Sun. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Woohoo! Bluebird spirit, happiness and the strength card. You have done it. All right. There's there. You have gone through a lot of struggle. You deserve this. OK, Aquarius, North Node and Sun, um, you are now more powerful and you're able to choose happiness for yourself. I feel like some of you might have not chosen this this um, transition or this period of time because it seemed too frivolous. Right. Aquarius, you really are here to help the collective but you got to be strong first and you got to be in that energy, that high vibration energy first before you can really help anybody else. So it's coming. It's here. It's here, Aquarius. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. 
uh, Pisces, Sun and North Node. Air Spirit, Knowledge, and the Knight of Wands. Wow, that's movement, man. That is fast movement. So Pisces, you're tapped in, tuned on, right? You're in your spiritual awareness and uh, like downloads like crazy. This really does give you the energy to move forward uh, and the awareness to move forward. So those of you who have Pisces North Node, um, that means you have Virgo as a South Node. And some of you, not too dissimilar from Capricorn, feels like everything needs to be hard or there needs to be a certain process to things. This is very un, like air and fire are not structured, okay? And so it's like comes into your head and you do it, comes into your head and you do it. And that is the way, that is the way forward. So those of you who have Pisces, Sun and North Node, just know things are gonna be a little bit effortless, um, which is nice. What's coming to a close is any kind of hard grinding activity. You're not gonna have to deal with that anymore. This is much more, this is smooth sailing. Nice for Pisces, North Node and Sun. And finally, Aries, North Node and Sun. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I love, oh my God. All right. You are getting out of your closed mindset and really stepping into summer with everything it, it has to offer. Uh, summer is um, fertility. Summer is um, uh, lots of abundance showing up. It's all, it's like everything is blooming and blossoming and there's a lot of fruit to be had. There's a lot of warmth. There's a lot of joy. And, you know, for a long time, you've been holding yourself back, Aries. You've been holding yourself back in a rough situation that didn't, didn't really need to stay there. And you don't really need to stay there. It's like, open your eyes and look at the sun, right? And be part of joy. Maybe some of you have decided or had decided at one point that like a Capricorn, like it was hard, it needed to be hard or difficult or challenging, that relationships that love is pain or anything like that. You're really leaving those ideas behind and you're stepping into something much more joyful. Nice, Aries, North Node and Sun. So those, that's a little reading for you guys. Uh, North Node, again, is your karmic path and mission on this planet. We are coming to the end of Taurus North Node, Scorpio South Node time period. So we're getting this activation energy in eclipse season and we're moving into Aries and Libra, Aries North Node, which is about independence and doing things that fire you up, right? It's a fire sign. And the South Node is Libra, which is all about, okay, no, like everything needs to be balanced. Like, let's just move toward what really makes us happy. That's what those readings are about. All right, you guys, I hope that was fun. I hope that was helpful to you. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.